Hi everybody, good morning. It's Meg from Books Off the Beaten Path and it's time for your early morning book review. So I hope you're ready for it. Before I start, I wanna give a big shout out to my wonderful hubby. 32 years as of today, so still going strong, still very much in love, I'm very proud of that, your count. All right, so here's my first book review. Well, my only book review this morning because I just finished the one book. I don't read multiple books. Um, I just can't do that. Anyway, I read The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James. Now, this is a little bit of a departure for me because I tend to read just vintage. And it's been a while since I've read anything kind of bestsellerish or hot new take or anything like that. And this was pretty good. Um, I don't want to say it was very good because I found it predictable in a lot of places and I thought, oh, well, I hope she doesn't do, oh, she did that. Well, maybe she won't have her go, oh, she went there. Um, and I went back and forth about whether or not I should give this book a three star or a four star. Um, a three star for me because I found it predictable in a lot of places and that just didn't really wow me. But I ended up giving it a four star because of the writing because Simone St. James is a wonderful writer and she really gives you that atmosphere and there's a supernatural element to it and that was done very well. I thought she did that very well. Anyway, in the book of Cold Cases, we follow two main characters. We follow Shay, who has had some childhood abuse, childhood trauma, and then we follow Beth, who was accused of these lady killer murders when she was in her teens in the late 60s, but she was acquitted of those crimes, and those murders are still unsolved. They are cold cases. So we follow these two characters and how they come together and how they meet and how they sort of form this kind of weird love-hate relationship. And as I said, there's a supernatural element to it, which is very interesting. But some of the decisions that the characters make, I don't understand. And I think you really, really have to stretch to kind of understand their reasoning. Um which I didn't appreciate. I I was looking at it going, now I know all about this person. You've told me about this person up to this point. Why is this person behaving this way? And I'm not a big fan of when authors do that. But I love Simone St. James. Will I read everything she writes? Yes, I will. And I gave it a four stars. Now, on to my next read. I'm going to reach over and get it. I'm going back to the vintage. I'm going back to one of my favorite series, which is Cherry Ames, and I'm going to read Veterans Nurse. Um, I've recently read Army Nurse, and I've read Flight Nurse, but now I'm going to read Veterans Nurse, and there she is with her little veteran, and look at all those brownies. Like, look at that. That's a lot of brownies, man, and she has one little thing of milk. Oh, no, she has two, but passing out milk and brownies to the veterans. So this is gonna be a fun one. You know, I kind of love to give Cherry Ames a little bit of flack, a little bit of make fun of her, just a little bit, but I do love Helen Wells and I do love this series. So I will be reading that next. So I hope you had a wonderful morning. Um, my videos have gotten shorter lately. I haven't done a big long one, but I need to do a big long one. So I'm going to put down in the comments what you would like me to talk about as far as vintage. And hopefully we can come up with something fun. I can make a big long video if it's a vintage author, if it's a vintage type of book, if you want me to read something in particular, I'll see what I can do for you. Anyway, I hope you have a great morning and I hope all is well. Check you later.